Uh, let me load up the chat on my MacBook just to make sure that everything sounds good. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it's not a disaster right out of the gate. It usually is. Ow. Ow. I just clicked my jaw. Ooh. Ooh, that felt weird. How is the audio, guys? Oh no, somebody's only getting the left ear. Is it, is it only left ear? Okay, some people are saying it's good. Somebody's saying it's left ear. Oh my god, so many people are yelling my name. <laughs> it's only left, only left. Okay. Weird, some people are saying that the audio sounds fine? That is something weird that's going on. Um, I have to like manually edit it when I record a video, but for some reason, um, the z everything that this microphone that I'm using, a anything I record with it is always biased towards the left side, and I have no clue how to just stop <laughs> it from doing that. <laughs> Ah, I just did it again with my jaw. I clicked. Okay. Audio sounds funky and weird. If you hear like a weird whirring in the background, uh, that's the AC because it's like 90 degrees. Okay, your left ear is enjoying this. Um... Okay, so... If you guys, if you guys can handle it, once the stream is over, let me try to fix my issues with my microphone so that in the future we don't have this problem. If it's okay, can we just deal with the left side for now? Try Alt-4. See, I feel like that's a trick. <laughs> I'm not going to press Alt-4 until someone can confirm that it's not a trick. <laughs> uh, Alt-F4. Are you using OBS? Oh, hello, Ubernick. Uh, no, I'm actually, I am using the GeForce Experience. It. I don't think it's isolated to... Um, I don't think it's isolated to whatever I'm using to stream, because it's a problem that happens in mostly everything um yeah it's just it's weird I, I don't know what's wrong I'll figure it out alt f4 don't do it somebody's saying okay see all of me okay the cat's out of the bag I'm not gonna try alt f4 <laughs> You tried and failed, but uh, let's let's do it, guys. Look at that. It's Halo, and it's on it's on Steam. I mean, there's you know these beautiful gems. Spartan Assault is like underrated, guys. Stop making fun of that game. Like it's it's a mobile game. Of course, it's not to be judged as like a quality product. It's a fine for what it is, but okay. Oh, man, tough choice. Uh, I think the bottom one worked, because I remember the top one, like, yelled at me. Uh, I love your YouTube video. It says rated PG. If anybody asks about the left ear situation, clarify it with them. I'm sorry. This is not my fault. I mean, actually, it is my fault, but I should say I didn't do this on purpose. Um, so, yeah, there's three shades. See, all the shaders are loading in. Uh, do you not know about the Alt F4 joke? I don't know. This is my first time. Oh, my God. Okay. What is going on? Hang on. I, I was screwing around earlier with some effects, so let's... Let's maybe turn some of these off to clean up the main menu, because that was ridiculous looking. <laughs> um, the Marty McFly depth of field, we might use that later. 
motion blur and I keep on. Because it's not here on the PC version. I mean, the, the motion blur, I mean, it wasn't really motion blur, but what they used on the Xbox 360 was terrible, but Project Motion Blur is, is pretty okay when it's used appropriately. Yeah, and sadly there's not much uh, that you can do. The field of view scaling is really weird. I don't, I don't quite know what, what it's like doing here. I don't know, it's weird. There's like some issues I notice when I play at 90, but okay. Yeah, as you can see, there's basically nothing here. Which is okay, because, you know, the point isn't to just have fun. We're testing. Yeah, sorry about the left ear. I, I apologize a thousand times. Did I get in? Oh yeah, I got in. How does that sound? Is the audio good? I mean... Aside it from appears the that Noble the Team's ears. discovery last night was not an anomaly. Large Covenant deployments have occurred undetected, and we are now under attack across the Vieri territory, including all the defenses. That looks really weird and a high contingency. We are countering on every front. I don't know if I Noble like it. Noble Reconnaissance has also like, identified I don't think this is a very good looking game to begin with. And I think and the fact that now you can see it here is still clear at, a, at 144 frames per second. It looks so flat. Like, the models and stuff look really good, but everything around it, the environment, looks so flat and like this. <laughs> like, we go, look at all the weird little grass command. patches going floating on the ground. Net charge link is loud and clear. Copy that. Acquiring signal lock yeah, on the pylon. <laughs> Detonating in three, two. You guys are funny. Let me back up the chat because I'm stupid. Oh man, the, holy moly, there's a lot of you watching. Incoming! The game is too loud. Might want to hold on to something. How is this? Is this good? Six! Can you hear me? Six, you alright? I could use some this help. Is, okay. On my way. This is uh good. Yeah, sorry about the left ear uh, for my voice. It's an issue that I will rectify. Let's, let's go find a hiding place. Interestingly, uh, controller support is working, but because there's no options menu in this flight, uh, I can't actually switch outside of bumper jumper, or not bumper jumper, a uh, recon. I need to switch it to bumper jumper, but... Yeah, reach looks really weird, right? Hang on, we're gonna clear out some of these boys, some of these men, extraterrestrial men, uh, so that we can start goofing off with some reshade. We can start... What should we go for first? Should we, like, pretty up the game? Make it look beautiful? Or should we, uh, try to... kind of go really hardcore with the war aesthetic? I'll let you guys fight it out. It's like an actual battle royale. But, but you know, for, for something stupid. Halo Reach also looks really weird with the centered crosshair. You guys can probably see I've got the option set for it to be uh, not centered, because I think the game... I think Halo plays much better like this. I think most games play better like this, with it off-center. Because look, you can see the skybox above you! All right. Here we go, I think we're... What the hell is the pelican doing? <laughs> okay. Here, we'll run away. Yeah, but it's like, look at how flat this is. I mean, obviously the art, I know what the art is doing, and the art is cool, but it's like, eh, it's like mashed potatoes. Mashed potato planet. That's what it reaches. Like, all the models are really high quality, but everything just looks like mashed potatoes. It's a really ugly game, I think. <laughs> I like Halo 3 better. I'm not using a controller. Okay, here we go. Uh, looks like it got the Halo 3 treatment. Alrighty, you guys ready? 
Update reshade. Yeah, Mama Luigi's telling me to update reshade. How do you know if you got in? Uh, go ahead and check uh, your emails. Finally, some delicious food. I'm gonna try to refrain from cussing because they could come for me, YouTube. They've been like weirdly hostile lately with it. Okay, I guess we can, uh, should we start with some, some bloom and lens flare or no? I think colorfulness fix the biggest problem with Halo Reach. Okay. So see, the grass is a little bit more yellow now. Let me see if I can find it on this scrolling list of effects. Because I don't want it to just look like a cartoon. I actually want to kind of be, you know. Okay. Yeah, we don't want it to look like this. <laughs> or just make it flat out black and white. Um, okay. And then... Wait, can I actually... Oh, no, I can't edit the individual uh, colors. Okay, never mind then. Oh, that sucks. I need to mess around with reshade more. Uh, somebody told me to update it, which I assume that, like, more effects have been added. You like the cartoon look. Okay, well, let's... Uh... Wait. Okay, so you like it like this. Like, this looks pretty snazzy, in your opinion. The, I do like the sky. The sky looks much better than the original game. The kind of uh, Destiny 2 um, Nessus foliage looks kind of weird for Reach. But... Yeah, what do you think of this? has <laughs> some life to it, somebody's saying. Oh man, some people say that they like this. Okay, maybe it's just my computer monitor. I assume it looks better on the stream. Yeah, Re Reach looks really good when you boost up the color. What? Okay, that guy was still alive. Oh man, I forgot it's uh, bumper jumper controls. Er, I made that mistake again. No, it's Recon. Oh, listen to that. Can you hear that? Listen to it faintly, okay? I'm gonna be silent. Do you hear that? That's a menu clicking sound whenever I melee. <laughs> it's just the melee button that makes the menu sound. That's so weird. <laughs> I wonder why it's doing that. Don't worry, I'm not, uh, I'm using the controller because when reshade is on the screen, it locks up my keyboard controls. So basically, I'm, I'm doing it so that I can get a look at the game while also having this menu open to screw around with. That's what I'm doing. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not a sociopath. I'm not going to play the game with a controller. We, uh, curves right here, this effect, it basically lets you adjust, like, shadows. So you can see the shadows look really aggressive right now, or they kind of lighten up. I don't know which looks better for you guys. I know, I know, some people are saying that they really miss my voice in the right ear. It's a problem for this stream and hopefully this stream only. I'm so sorry if you could bear with it, I promise it'll never happen again. Um, curves on, people are saying. Okay, what, what is it that looks good? Does it like add a bit of depth to the world? Is that what you like? It kind of, like, makes things look a bit more aggressive and angular? This is something super weird. So, do you guys remember ambient occlusion that I talked about? Um, for Combat Evolve, the way it kind of, like, adds shadow, like, kind of, like, in a cheap, gimmicky way, it's able to kind of give the impression of shadows in crevices and stuff. Um, so, when I activate, right here, ambient occlusion, BAM! I don't know what's wrong. <gasps> what? <laughs> no, we lost the game. That's never happened before. <laughs> Did it crash the stream too? <laughs> oh, somebody's saying switch uh, my mic to mono. Is that what the problem is? Guys, if that's what this problem has been this whole time. Um, hang on, how do I set it to mono? 
Where do I go to fix it? My microphone, that is. Is it in, uh... I'm sorry, I know this is the boring part of the stream. But if it helps... I. If it helps makes, make things more enjoyable... Uh, No, I... Somebody's saying Alt-F4 again. No, I know that that's a joke. I was clued in, pal, buddy. I'm not playing your games. Delete Skype. Somebody's saying F, F, Alt-F4. Change it under the shadow play settings. Okay. Loaded. I... I've got, like, this storm of joke demands to make it. <laughs> but every once in a while, a genuine piece of advice squeaks through. Is that all better? Is that better? Fixed? Is it like fixed or quote quote fixed where you can only hear me out of one ear? Speak louder you rag muffin. <laughs> I've never been called that before. Hang on, let me... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> it's fixed for me out of one ear. Yeah, how do I how do I fix this? What's the problem? This is really ridiculous, by the way. This shouldn't be a problem, and I understand that. You are a big fat stud," said Rated PG. Um. More left only. <laughs> can someone DM me on Twitter a step-by-step -step process on how I can fix this? Because I've got... I'm sifting through tons of joke <laughs> advice <laughs> that I'm really anxious will actually harm my PC if I follow through with them. <laughs> so... Uh... Okay, some people are saying that they got both. No, my mic is plugged in all the way. Restart your router, bro. <laughs> Sorry, that's... Uh, <laughs> um, am I slow or didn't you have 100k subs originally? I didn't actually. I'm getting close. I'm really excited. S cla sadly, uh, my... My rise to, f to, to fame and world domination seemed to end uh, with my latest video, which for some reason not a lot of people watched, but it's okay. I'll have to find something else that you guys will be interested in. Look at the super chats. What's a super chat? I don't stream much, okay? So I don't know what this is. Get back to the game. Less graphics. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'll get back to the game. Did you see that 343 is going to fix the CE graphics? I know that they said that they talked about it. I don't think that they're doing it, though. L or not, not that they're not doing it, but you know what I mean. It's like... It's very... Uh, wait, hang on. How do I look at my super chats? I'm trying to see if I can find it. 
Oh my god, this is a mess. I should know all of these things, by the way. I understand that I am the problem here. Okay. What what was it that completely destroyed the computer? Uh, it was... There we go, ambient occlusion. Okay, let's get back to where we were, though. Right, guys? Here, if you even want, uh, we'll do uh, centered crosshair, just because it makes everything look really weird. It's really weird seeing the gun so high up on your screen. I had to load up my phone quickly because right now my laptop, uh, my ancient laptop from the year, the year of our Lord 2011, um, is bugging out like crazy right it now. So let me reboot was not this, this trooper. I can't, I can't get mad at this laptop. It, the fact it still works, and it's riddled with viruses. <laughs> I'm, and it's also had like a hard drive melt. Looks like Apex Legends. Are you going to goof off? Uh, yeah, some people. Are, are coming to the chat. Uh, yes, the sound is only out of the left ear for, like, no reason. I can't figure out what I did or messed up in my audio settings. Sorry, if you can deal with it just this stream, I promise I'll fix it so you never deal with it again. But yeah, look how weird uh, the DMR looks. Like, look, you can see your forearm and everything. It's also really weird that now I'm looking so much at, like, the ground takes up so much of my screen because of the centered crosshair. It's why I like the uh, crosshair off-center, that way the skybox can take up a bit more. Okay. Let's clear out some of the, some of the men, the alien men. Extraterrestrial boys. Uh. It's also weird, uh, playing Reach with the high field of view, because you instinctively think to interact with the Covenant in a very specific way, like, I throw my grenade there, the, the, it'll travel this certain amount of distance and then explode, but because now your field of view is so extended, you kind of have to reach a little bit further than you did previously. You know, I need to move a bit closer to them to punch them, it feels like. If there's any weapons that you want me to pick up to, like, get a good look at the weapon higher up on the screen, I can definitely do that. Because I know that that's, like, the weird, nerdy stuff that we like. Right. Password. Where's the password on this piece of crap? Oh, that's it. Okay, I got it. Alright. Loading back up the chat. Centered is so weird, somebody says. It, it is weird. It's really weird. Turn down the saturation, bro, says Griffin. Yeah, uh, see? Now we've got some people that say they don't like the saturation. Other, other people really liked it uh, when we played before the Great Crash. Okay. So, here we go. For reference, if I were to turn off the saturation... BAM! Oh man, it looks almost black and white. What? This is weird. No. No. Do I do I have another filter on that I forgot about? No, the base game wasn't this colorless, was it? You know, let's try turning off curves. No, I just think Reach was this gross looking. Holy moly. Yeah, that's so weird looking. It just, it, it's like there's no life in this game. Bungie, wh what were you thinking? Why did you look at Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and think, let's, let's take the life out of Halo and make Halo look more like that? Should I leave it on or off? I'll let you guys decide. Reach is dying, somebody says. Too plain. Vague. Oh, as a planet, um, let's take off our nostalgia goggles, somebody says. Uh, 
Oh my god, so, so many ons, but also a lot of offs. I got it. How about we meet in the middle, and let's, let's keep it on, but let's turn down the colors just a bit so that it's not so, like, vibrant and cartoony looking? Maybe we can do that. Okay, so, how's this? Does this look good? It's down by, like, 70% what it was previously. Somebody's saying, I'm going to recommend that you turn on ambient light and mess with some chroma. Okay. You! Holy moly! Okay, hang on. We've got to fix this because I can't see the screen. <laughs> hey, your teammates are dying. Ah, who cares about them? <laughs> They'll be here when I restart the level. They're troopers. I appreciate them, by the way. Uh, let's look at deep... Wait. So I've never actually messed with ambient light, so we can A. I can't wait for people to start doing like pre uh pre-made ones that you can download. I'm really interested to see how people like pretty up Halo Reach. Ah! Ah! Hey guys, look! Look, it's Rage 2! So ambient light, I guess, it's supposed to kind of simulate the way, like, fog hangs in the air and the light kind of bleeds through the fog. Can you change the Y position of the model, like an El Dorito? Unfortunately, you can't. I assume that when mods happen, people are going to start goofing off and doing things like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to really get into this later to... Ugh. Look at the look at the screen, the top right. <laughs> screen does it like this. Okay. Dirt. What is this? Is this like a a dirt effect? Wait, hang on. Oh, I think it is. To kind of make it look like my lens is a bit dirty. Vibrance of the dirt effects. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, we can make it look a bit cooler. Uh make it look a bit warmer make it light dependent here what do you think of this how does this look the map kind of has this like haze as like the sun bleeds through the fog that's kind of hanging in the air from all the explosions can you uncenter it so we can see the skybox yep we might have to do that do you guys prefer it up just like for for curiosity's sake because the game looks so weird with like your arms held at this weird angle <laughs> look he's almost holding it above his eye line <laughs> yeah it's really weird looking right yeah halo reach man Um, is this flight testing or is it out live? This is flight testing. Oh my god, hang on. What is that? $99? Wait, can people donate? <gasps> what? If people are donating, holy moly, you guys are so cool. You don't need to do that. I don't need money, but holy moly, you guys are amazing and I love you. Oh my god. Lower the gun, please. Okay. We'll lower the gun. We'll... Ah! Ah! Things are really... Oh, it's because the menu isn't... The controller doesn't seem to work in the menu. Or certain buttons don't seem to work. Okay, we'll lower the gun. It was 99 cents, but it was still his 99 cents. And that's what makes it special. He had 99 cents and he chose. Chose to not have it anymore and wanted me to have it. Hey bro, I love your content, says Jacob Brown. Thank you, my friend. I love you. Somebody wants me to touch myself. Um, no? No, we'll go with no, okay? 
Uh, next time you stream, you should probably use OBS. I probably should. Though I I assume the audio issues that you're all hearing, the left or the yeah the left side. Um, that's, I think, user error. I think whatever I did on my end, my audio got all jacked up. So I'll figure that out after the stream, and hopefully we'll never have this problem again. But this is a ton of fun, actually. I might incorporate you guys' chats into a video. If I do one, kind of recapping all the fun that we had on Halo Reach for the flighting. Are you guys excited to play this? Even on the Xbox One. Uh, like, obviously we're having fun here on the PC, because the PC is better, um, but I'm excited to see it on the Xbox One. It, Halo Reach for the first time running at like an acceptable resolution and also running at 60 frames per second. That's going to be weird. Okay, we're clearing out some of the Covenant uh, so that we can go back to goofing off. All right. Yeah, it's really weird judging distance. I'm so not used to playing this way. Okay, now let's run all the way back here. Alright, here we go. This looks like a pretty spot. Or we made it a pretty spot by upping the con or the saturation. Alright. It's cartoon filter. What it okay, it doesn't quite do much. I mean we could probably fool it around, make it the game look like Borderlands a bit, but. Do the evolution of the frag grenade. PC sucks lol, somebody says. Uh, I adaption HDR. HDR just tries to simulate what HDR would look like on a non-HDR screen. You know, makes things look a little bit sharper. We also, I don't know if this will show through on the stream, but there's sharpening. Can you see this? Do you see how, like, sharp everything looks? Don't miss the super chat. Okay, is that what that is? Let me... How do I open up my super chat? Oh my god, five dollars. Uh... Pop out chat? Is this it? I, I want to look at this, because I want to... I've heard super chat used as a term. So I want to figure out how to do it. I'm not, I'm not very good at, uh, streaming. The five dollar chat! No! <laughs> so people are giving more money! <laughs> so is Super Chat, like... Is what Super Chat is, is you guys can donate money, and because of that, you can also leave a comment, and your comment will kind of, like, have an importance to it? Is that what that is? Because if so, I want to read some of these. The message sent along with the donation. Okay, how do I open up the super chat then? Oh my god, okay. How about the evolution of the grenades in Halo? Uh, would be weird. That could be fun actually, like equipment in general. If you go into GeForce, Overlay, Shadow Play, whatever, in the audio settings, there's a button that says create single track, or did you do that and I missed it? I might have. I have no clue. I'm... Okay, somebody's saying just click on the $5. Okay, let me... Because that, that was an incredible... It, it's $5, but it matters. It means a lot to me. That's very kind. Okay, come on, man. There we go. You're so lucky. I signed up on the day it was announced, but I got nothing. Enjoy it. I love your content, but hater that I can't play. No customization in the Reach Flight? No. No customization, unfortunately. It's just the level. Okay, I figured out... I figured it out. Um, how the Super Chats work. Hentai's art gave me 99 cents. Is there a way that I can, like, isolate Super Chats so that they're always kind of, like, highlighted? I'm so new to this. I'm not used to a lot of this stuff, so sorry if I come across as incredibly new. We should also probably get to- yeah, play the game, somebody says. Okay, let's turn off the, uh, 
sharpening. Alrighty. Here's something that I was actually having a lot of fun with. I want you to see you get damn crazy with the shaders. Okay, let's get damn crazy, because here's... here's... I was fooling around earlier. Here's a depth of field effect that I'm still trying to figure out. I'm, I'm trying to tune it, because it's kind of, you know, it's a little bit weird right now. Uh, things kind of like jank in and out of focus. I want to make the transition a bit more smooth. So I'm, I'm tuning it kind of progressively over the course of this flight to get it to look just right. But what I kind of want is I want my gun to be out of focus and kind of everything in front of me to be in focus. But I also want things that are way off in the distance to just kind of... Like you can see there, that hilltop, it's blurry and out of focus. Like basically everything that's only we'll say like 20 meters in front of me. I want that to be kind of the focal point. Say, ooh, daddy, every time you kill an elite. <laughs> it's because you're using a weird depth buffer. Update reshade and it lets you choose which... Okay, gotcha, okay. You know what? We'll do that. We'll update Reshade after the stream's over, and I'll get back to you guys. Make it look like Minecraft. Hello, uh, Kevin Cool X. If you guys are wondering, that guy is really on point when it comes to Halo news. I follow him for a lot of my Halo news when I'm out of the loop on something. Should I try Ambient Occlusion again? Remember it broke the game and crashed it? Let's try it. Okay, three, two, one. We're good. It hasn't crashed, but look at how broken it makes the game look. I don't even know how to fix it. Halo 3 looks relatively good uh, with, like, El Dorito. I don't know why, like, Reach, you know? Like, look at the sky box! The skybox has, like, fake shadows on it. <laughs> it's so broken looking. <laughs> oh, man. By the rings, this is L99. <laughs> it's like... You know when you're having a dream and the dream is really cool and then you wake up and try to describe your dream? This is, this is like if Halo Reach the video game was a dream, this is the equivalent of you describing the dream to somebody else. Like this broken looking Halo Reach that's not actually that cool looking. <laughs> Yeah, the audio is uh, messed up. I don't want to cuss. I don't want YouTube to send their their drones after me to demonetize. That's like a fun thing that we have to be scared about, right? Uh, here's some like God. Ri ah! <laughs> it's <laughs> the comedic way that the fake God race popped up. It's like God himself. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's the other life. It's calling noble. Or it's a covenant glassing beam. One of the two. A Christian deity or plasma. <laughs> I'm going to have to like fool around to make it look less comedic, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, God has entered orbit. Like, God has joined the match. I'm playing co-op over Xbox Live with God. <laughs> oh man, my stomach hurts. <laughs> my stomach hurts. That was... Oh, it's like a cartoon. It was God. 
Oh man, here's one that I was having a lot of fun with earlier. I mean, obviously trying not to make it look so, like, goofy. Like, you can probably tell this is a bit much. But I was trying to fool around with it, get it to look a bit... <laughs> like this, where it just... It looks like actually there is a big explosion in the sky. Only the explosion won't stop. It keeps going. Yeah, this is insane. I, I've... I'll tone it down after, after the fact, but <laughs> look how crazy this looks. Guys, Reach looks really weird. All our birds are stuck out of range unless you can do something about those guns. Commander, I'm going to set up a forward observation post. God knows how much late night gaming is going to make our eyes suffer. <laughs> Guys, I'm playing an actual thumbnail for a YouTube video. Yeah, see, here it is, on, off. It, it just looks like the reflection of a fire. Look, the Covenant uh, cannon, it's trying to shoot the fire that's in the sky, creating that bloom effect. <laughs> that was insane. That was way too much. We also got this vignette. If you guys don't know what a vignette is, uh, basically the corner of the screen, it'll darken slightly. Uh, to give the game a bit more of a cinematic look. I just think it looks bad. There's chromic aberration. Uh, to also, you know, give it that filmic look. I wonder what the cannon looks like with ambient occlusion. Oh no! <laughs> what is that? Is it an iceberg? Warthog looks weird. It looks like a Lego. Oh my god. I got <laughs> it's like a I can see uh, the other... The Covenant Spires down there. They look so weird. They look like little like... Those things that waiters bring your food out and then they lift it up. I forgot right now. I'm like... The ambient occlusion kind of uh, threw me for a spin, and right now my brain's frazzled. I'm collecting all my thoughts again. New Intel 6. <laughs> Looks like normal weapons won't dent those AA guns. I would suggest neutral. Cinematic <laughs> look. There we go. Yeah, let's turn that off. That's madness. Actual madness. Uh, what is this effect? I should know what this is. I can't tell. I'll figure out what it is later. There's a lot of effects that I haven't actually goofed off with. We can, we can turn on some film grain. I don't know if it shows up on the stream. It probably looks awful, to be honest, given YouTube's compression of videos. Let me see if I can make it look like really irritating and obnoxious, the film grain. Okay. Intensity. Yeah! Turn it up! Yeah! <laughs> My game's broken! Oh my god. Can, is this... I imagine this looks terrible on the stream because of the compression, right? How are you, Sis Thomas? I'm doing really good. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm doing really well, Thomas. Is there an option in Reach's settings uh, itself to add the film grain that was in Reach initially? No, there isn't, and it makes me really upset. Um, I hope that 343 adds it, because I don't like film grain in my games. I like them in certain games. Uh, I don't like it in Reach because I think it makes it look gross. But the option should be there. Nonetheless, same with the motion blur. Here, let's turn on more God rays. <laughs> Guys, God, God has joined the game! Holy moly. Oh my god. Look at its, look at its uh, cannon fire. Look at the god ray that comes out of it. Yeah, look how crazy that looks. Holy moly. It's like Noble Six took some acid. Doesn't even know what planet he's on anymore. It could be Reach, or it could be Mars. We got tangos 
16 <laughs> times the god. This is uh, Todd Howard, if he released it. Reach 76. I do actually have Fallout 76, by the way. I do have it. It is on my computer. And I, I am in the process of playing it for curiosity's sake, and it's true. All of it, to quote Han Solo. I, I can't believe that's like a game. It feels like a bad Fallout 4 mod. Uh, Rookie, is that you? Wait, this is on the computer? This is on the computer. Yeah, Fallout 76 is is alarmingly rough as a game. Like, even by Bethesda standards. Uh, Clarify. Clarify just kind of, like, brightens it up. You know, dark corners get a little bit brighter so you can see. Um... I'm trying to... Okay, Bloom and Lens Flare. Here, let's goof off with Bloom and Lens Flare a bit. This is a different one. What is... Ru Hang on. Do you see that? Like, when I... When I turn really fast? What's going on? What effect is causing that? Is that the motion blur? Like, collapsing? Yeah, it's the motion blur. Okay, we're turning off motion blur temporarily. The motion blur was... Wait, there it is. Okay, hang on. It reset temporarily. My pre presets for it. Let's see if maybe it looks okay now. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Yeah, but look how smooth that looks. But bloom. Let's scroll up to it because there's a there's a pretty cool uh, bloom effect that I was goofing off with earlier. It got a bit much and I couldn't quite fine tune it, so I just turned it off. Reshade's pretty cool, right? I am trying not break the game. I'm I'm making the game look really cinematic, guys. Okay. Guys, it's cinematic. I think is this? Yeah, look how cool that looks. Look, there's like a streak. A lens flare streak that travels with the Yeah, see? You can see it a bit right here on the screen, where it even rubs off onto my uh, helmet a little bit. Yeah, look at that! Look how cool that looks! That's pretty neat, right? I remember I ran in... Yup, there we go. That's what the problem was. Now I remember why I deactivated it. Because it's. it also thinks that the sun reflecting off the rocks is a light source. So it's like, you got it, boss! And it's just putting... <laughs> yeah, see? That's why I turned it off, now I remember. And it sucks, because it looks really cool. But, you know... You know... G game, like, the ground is not a light source. It's okay. I appreciate the effort. Can you customize the INI to make the FOV ridiculous? I can do that. Somebody's saying to play the game, play the game, play the game. Um... Would you guys rather I just play? I believe it's a 60 FPS cap. Uh, sh do you guys just want me to start playing? No, don't play. Max mod first. Look, guys. Look, guys, it's a trailer for Halo Reach, but we're playing it! No, we're turning off the border. That's re that's ins- Ah! Okay, we're also turning that off. Okay, so should we play it like this? With like these weird presets? I mean, obviously I'll disable Bloom because it's ridiculous that it like makes the floor glow. What do you guys think? Should we just start playing? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of Play it crazier, somebody's saying. Turn everything on. Make it look remastered. Okay, so see, some people are saying that they want me to continue goofing off with reshade. Hey, seeing what I can, like, get away with. 
I will update it, by the way, uh, once the stream's over, because apparently updating it helps a little bit with some of these effects. Okay. God rays. Should we should we try playing with with uh, God in the game? <laughs> Ooh, I got. I can't find the needle rifle because <laughs> the lens flares <laughs> or the god rays. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this looks so bad. <laughs> Imagine, uh, you know, like lasso is really, really hard. Like, this is like the next step of Lasso, <laughs> playing with God in your game. I can't see the enemies sometimes, because the ground is producing God rays. <laughs> I just couldn't see right there. Johnson in all his beauty. Johnson has joined the game. Here, let's see if I can... Yeah, let's grab- <laughs> I can't see the elite! Okay, there he is. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let- Oh my god, I just realized the explosion! <laughs> the explosion of the cannon! <laughs> like, you guys think this is bad! <laughs> oh no! Again. See, the, some of the- he snuck up on me. I couldn't see him. Some of the difficulty right here of playing this is I assume that you're watching it and you're just kind of enjoying yourself. You don't realize how actually hard it is to play like this because I can't see some enemies. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, let's get out. There we go. Yeah, run away. It also sucks because some of them are just like out of focus. So on top of not being able to see them through the god rays, I just can't see them because they're out of focus. <laughs> Why are you playing that way? Because if I don't, if I don't, then Satan wins. I have to do this. <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's get out and let's take a look at this explosion. <laughs> this is gonna be good. You better not let me down, game. Watch it just crash. Come on. Ah, uh, that was a little bit disappointing, to be honest. I was I was hoping that for a good solid couple of seconds, I just couldn't see anything. You know, when when it's almost working it actually does make the game look really cool it's just a pity that for the most part you get this <laughs> okay let's turn off god rays because i'm actually getting a headache struggling to see we'll leave depth of field on though because it looks pretty cool right i wonder if the size of the gun model kind of influences uh the the bias of the depth of field effect, like since this is kind of like bigger on the screen, it's struggling a bit more with it when compared to this. It's cool looking nonetheless. Make it look like Borderlands. We could see actually if the cartoon filter does anything to the game. Okay, let's find it. Cartoon. So, off the bat, doesn't look like anything, so we'll have to up it a little bit. Power. Hey! Ho! Oh, hang on. We're getting there. Guys, it's working! Holy moly. Reese looks really weird. How is this showing up on the screen? What does it look like? YouTube compression could screw with it, but this looks really cool and really weird. My mic is popping. Uh, let me see if I can make it a bit more aggressive so that it looks kind of less poopy on the screen.
There we go. Okay, so this is a bit much, a bit aggressive, but how does this look to you guys on the stream? Yeah, it just looks like Borderlands. Look at him! He's a Borderlands character! Okay, you guys want depth of field removed? Okay, should we remove depth of field? Fix your mic! Is my mic broken? What's going on, guys? Does the mic sound weird? Yes, remove it. Okay. A little. Somebody's saying a little bit. Okay, so... <clears throat> Only the left ear. Okay. That's a problem that we've been having issues with since the start of the stream. Ay. Okay. Hold. Ooh. That looks really weird. Oh, it's chopping. Okay. Alright. I will turn off the mic and turn it back on. If we're actually legitimately having some issues. I toned down the cell shading just a tiny bit. Okay, so that is... Uh, I'm trying to uh, keep in mind the... Um, I'm trying to keep in mind the YouTube compression, because sometimes those effects won't look quite as strong, but I'll turn it down. Okay, let me fix my mic quickly. How does this sound? Is this good? Better? It's better sounding. Okay. Still only the left ear. That's okay. Maybe less popping, though. Okay, so it's still popping. Okay, that's weird. Hang on. How does it sound now? Somebody saying yes. Uh, Thomas is saying hi. Then we also turn down the levels a bit. Okay, how does this sound? Is this a little bit less crazy? Speak a whole sentence. Way better, 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 yes, better, um, better, but keep the mic away from your mouth, it's popping. Okay, so it's because of that. All right. Love you, says Jake's Production Studio. Say a tongue twister. Uh, Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Uh, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Is that good? Uh, let's also, uh, you know, fix the Borderlands effect that we got going on here. Okay, so you guys are saying this is a bit too aggressive. How's this? Does this look good? Can you make your gun in the middle of the screen so it's like Doom? I can't actually do that. 
That was only an SPV3 thing, uh, but I could probably teach myself. I don't know if it's even possible, but... We should probably, um, ooh, that was like a, you hear that whistle? Uh, let me see, because was Borderlands really colorful? I forgot, I remember it being kind of like drab looking. Like not really that interesting to look at outside of its like cartoon filter. Was it really colorful? Like this? This is the max FOV, uh, to answer that person's uh, question. Rusty and warmer, okay. Everything's blurry, somebody's saying. Is it, is it looking uh, kinda odd, at least on the stream? Is because you keep in mind that YouTube's compression will make what I'm seeing look very different from what you're seeing. What I'm seeing looks basically like Borderlands, but it's entirely possible that on YouTube at least it looks kind of crappy because of YouTube's compression. Maybe you know what levels? Hang on, I've got a I've got an idea actually. So it's dark right now. It's okay on purpose. Uh, let's find levels. Maybe I can just artificially brighten up the screen. There's... Is there ear rate? I hear that too. What is that? Oh, that's what that is. Okay, I was like, that's, an, that's a terrible sound. What is that? Damn, let's get away from the turret. Uh, some people are asking to play it. Um, okay, so would you guys just prefer that we start playing less goofing off with filters? Some people would like to see the game actually, you know, me beat it. This level at least, so if you want. What I was hoping for, at least with this, was that we just kind of like have fun, you know, goofing off with reshade. But if you guys would like to legitimately see me finish the level, I can do that. Do you guys want me to finish it with Borderlands filter? I think you need to increase the saturation a bit more. Not cranked up enough. Oh, man, I should have kept the Warthog. Oh, that's right, there's uh, skirmishers up there. With uh, needle rifles, if I remember right. <laughs> Somebody's saying with God rings. Please turn off the filter. Somebody is also saying to keep the filter, though. So right, we're we're at a bit of a we're at a bit of a crossroads, guys. Because some people want it, some people don't. Let's plant the grenade. Woo. Okay, you know what? Let's turn it off so that you know people can get a good look at the game. We'll we'll play with it later, though. Okay. Cartoon. Ooh. Oh, whoa. There we go. We'll keep the saturation up, though. You know, give the game a bit of life. Give me your guns. Yeah, I should have used a vehicle. No, no, I'm in for a long jog. Did you try to make it look gritty and dramatic yet? I don't think I have. Uh, some people are saying it's it's too too saturated. 
So we'll turn that a bit down. Hopefully this looks good. Yeah, we needed a vehicle for this. That was very dumb of me to just start running. Yay, here we go. Is this Xenia, the Xbox emulator? No, this is uh, the Halo Reach flight for the Master Chief collection. I'm not able to change the view model, Doc. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm still figuring out. Reshade is basically my gateway drug into proper modding. So as I learn reshade and everything, I actually properly this summer want to start getting into modding and figuring all this out so I don't need to like rely on friends who know a lot more about modding than me. Because I assume it's very annoying to hear me constantly asking for questions. Asking for questions. Answering... Uh, wow, I just had a stroke. Let me try that sentence again. Asking questions. I know it's coming to PC already, but where can I get it? Uh, you can get it on Steam, or if you're crazy, you can also get it on the Windows Store. If you're a complete psychopath, you can get it on the Windows Store. Yeah, there's the, uh... Take out that zealot if you get the chance. His hologram. Hey! The spires. The assault rifle looks really weird. I, I can't put my finger on what it is. I think maybe it's just because I have the saturation up a little bit, so there's a bit more. I think it's the yellow strip. I'm not used to seeing it that yellow, if that makes any sense. I think that's what the problem is. Not problem, but... What's bugging me? You can't set the reticle directly to the center like El Dorito. You can do that, um, but you'd be a sociopath, a psychopath if you did that. Because reticle is much better when it's off-center. But we can do another run through the level with it centered. Because I do know, you know, all jokes aside, some people do prefer it that way. I am not one of those people. little thing uh, from the Bungie games that not a lot of people remember is when you move kind of like diagonally, you actually move faster than just going straight forward. Man, Reach looks really cool with some color and life to it. It looks less like a, like a funeral on the 360. I get it, I get it, but that's the tone that they're going for. Yeah, it was a dumb idea to just deliberately make your game look really brown and boring. You can make a tragic war game and also have color in life. Now, why is your sound so packed? Change it to the one channel. How do I do that? Uh, I mean, I'll figure it out. I am actually probably going, because we've been going for about an hour, so I do need to get some sleep, because despite the name of my channel, um, I don't want to mess up my sleep schedule by staying up all night playing Halo Reach. Uh, so we will probably call it quits after this level's over. But if you guys want, we can uh, stream more tomorrow. That is a possibility. And I'll definitely fix my audio 
tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's this thing. You know, this thing isn't as cool as I remembered it being. I remembered this thing being really awesome, but it's kind of now like really, I don't know, awkward and clunky to use. It feels more gimmicky than it is actually useful. I also don't like the look of it. I mean, it looks kind of like something from Combat Evolved. It's kind of got a bit more of, it reminds me of the fuel rod gun from Combat Evolved, but. Can you put on the bloom effect? Yeah, we can do that. We're getting out of here. Uh, oh wait, this bloom effect? <laughs> <laughs> the one that's just like weird in what it thinks should cast a ray. We can leave it on, but if it's distracting, that just like randomly sometimes the ground or rocks will, you know, that. Update six. Scan show another Covenant AA gun ahead of your location. I want you to neutralize that gun. Here we go. My friend Tyler uh, taught me this trick. I legitimately never knew about this. Okay. Oh man. It's weird. Crouch jumping. It's weird. I have to like reach, train my reflexes a little bit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll take the DMR now. So I didn't know you could just, like, shoot it from a distance, and that's that can make it explode. Somebody saying to turn it off? Yeah, I didn't know that you could do this to blow up the gun. It's weird, right? Uh, somebody's saying to turn it off, so... Boop, there we go. We'll do that. How about we... Let's at least turn on the depth of field effect. Yeah, see? That looks pretty cool, right? I mean, when it's not bugging out, because it does have a lot of issues. I've still got to fix it uh, in first person, get it to look just right. But in vehicles, it's kind of doing what I wanted it to do. Yeah, and by the way, I don't, like... The re the reason I have this weird depth of field effect is not because I actually want to play the game and just have it look like this forever. No, it's just for the sake of fun. Change channel to the channel. Good sounds, my fans. Yeah. Sorry, we'll we'll do that after I will fix that so that tomorrow's stream is not borked. If you can just deal with it till the end of the stream, I promise it will not last these audio problems. There you go. It's weird like fighting hunters that are fun, you know? Because, like, the Halo 5 Hunters are really bad and rough, and they're not fun to fight at all. So it's really weird, just like, oh, the, the Hunters, and they're fun! Say yes, daddy, when you kill the Hunters. Yes, daddy. Need a lift, Spartan. I feel like uh, Twitch stream quality, it probably would, f uh, it, that it would like fix it and make it look prettier. It probably would. Um, I'll, I'll have to stream on Twitch. I'll have to kind of get the weird stick out of my ass that I have uh, and start using other things. It's hard, you know, being a YouTuber, but also being kind of introverted because suddenly there's all these responsibilities. I didn't know what a super chat was until this stream. Turn on God Rays. That is a very good idea. And by good idea, I mean awful idea. We're not going to be able to see anything. Yep, there we go. Look, we just can't.
can't see anything. <laughs> Guys, I can't... I can't do this. Like, is it okay if I turn it off? I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, you know what? No, I'm turning it off. I don't need your consent. That'll definitely make for a fun uh, playthrough, by the way, when Reach does officially release for the PC, a uh, legendary run with God Race permanently turned on. Now invert the colors. Are you breaking NDA right now? I am not. We can stream this. Latest intel suggests these spies may be projecting electromagnetic cloaking shields. Here we go. We're about to get the jetpack. I remember um, when I was playing it earlier today, this caused some issues. Uh, I think it's just because like, when you fly up really high uh, with the jetpack and you get all these objects on screen at once in front of you, uh, the frame rate I remember tanked a bit, which is kind of weird. Stars all over the place. We gotta move. Mouse feels Come weird on, here. We've got eyes on the spire. It's like, like really floating. We have your visual. Doc's working the problem. Stand by. Yeah, the mouse aiming feels weird. I don't know what changed between that cutscene and here. Okay, something's up. Okay, jetpack. See if it's still weird. It's fine now. I remember it. Uh, my my computer kind of died a little bit when I flew to the top of the map earlier today. Okay, weird. Mouse smoothing. Yeah, it feels like mouse smoothing. But the mouse moving should be off. Yeah, really weird. And it, it's only after that cutscene. I wonder if I restart the checkpoint if it fixes it. No, it's still got that weird feeling. Okay. All right. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We can deal with it. It's not a deal breaker. There we go. I was about to say. Oh, ooh, a focus rifle. Man, the focus rifle was really a really dumb idea for a gun. I mean, I see what Bungie probably thought they were doing. Like, what if, what if Sentinel Beam, but a sniper? But it's like, yeah, but like, the Sentinel Beam should just be the Sentinel Beam and not a sniper. Though I do also understand, like, I, I do appreciate it a bit more than the beam rifle. Uh, the idea of how we try to make the beam rifle not just a purple sniper rifle. People are asking for your PC specs. Uh, I believe, actually, if you go into the description of the stream, you can see it. Did you ever consider making a weapon balance video? I know you and I had some minor disagreements on Twitter with the subject, and I would like to hear your thoughts in more detail. I mean, maybe. Um, I don't really like the way Halo 5 balances the weapons. I think it's incredibly boring to just have every gun kill good. I think it's more interesting when some weapons are less about the killing and more about little things that they can do. Like, they can certainly kill if you use them, but... I think Halo's more interesting when it has, like, that one uh, weapon that's kind of reliable in all situations, and then the sandbox is balanced around it. Kind of like Combat Evolved, where you got the Magnum, which kind of drives the balance of the sandbox around it. Uh, Noble Flight, 
That's why I really like Combat Evolved. And Halo 2 multiplayer, I'd say. I don't think it actually works very well in the campaign. I think Halo 2 has a really bad sandbox for campaign gameplay. Uh, but Combat Evolved, I think, is like the ideal way to balance a Halo game. Because you got your assault rifle, where it's it definitely cannot be outmatched in terms of like damage per second, like just unloading a clip into a hallway. And then obviously there's also all sorts of neat little weapon tricks. Each weapon kind of has its own little characteristics that you can do. Interesting little button glitches and, well not button glitches, but you know, like picking up camo faster, meleeing a little bit quicker. Yeah, uh, Halo 5, I think, is really boring. It took the Call of Duty route of the best way to balance a gun is make it kill good. This gun kills good close. This one kills good far. It's just, like, boring. They all just kill. None of them have, like, interesting utility. Even the plasma pistol kills good. It's like, what? PC specs. Uh, you can actually see them. Uh, in the description. I hope that that answers your question, Get in there. Take out that shield, Lieutenant. Sparks. In terms of what I like with weapon balancing. It's kind of also why, like, party games are really hard in Halo 5, uh, unless you use weapons as compared to, like, party games from Halo 3 where you got interesting stuff like the Sentinel Beam, Sentinel Beam, the Brute Shot, and, you know, wacky weapons like that where they don't really kill, but they do fun little gimmicky things as compared to Halo 5 where it's just, like, everything kills unless it's a wreck weapon in which you can use that to have some fun. I'm stuck with the focus rifle and the sword elite. All right, we're gonna get this boy's sword. I wonder if we could, we could goof off. No, 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 because it's late and I gotta, I gotta, gotta get some sleep. But that could be like a fun little reshade experiment, goofing off the sword to make it look really glowy and bright. Oh, turn on uh, God Rays this mm -hmm. last scene. We'll do that. But <laughs> Get us out of here. It's starting, guys. Control. This is Noble One. Oh my spire gosh. Is green and your God is gates. here to send Have off nice that day. spire. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground. <laughs> Friggin' 318 Heavy is Come on. Come on, game. Give us something Mark good. <laughs> you can look at that. They're flying into the teeth, sun. People. Oh my god. Yes! See, now the image quality is starting to break down because the god rays are doing weird things. Whoa! No. No, somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton, do you copy? The Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. <laughs> Whoa, that was almost cinematic, the like reveal. <laughs> there we go. That was fun. Um, I agree each gun having unique traits is good, but I dislike how the lack of lethality for other guns in past games centralizes the sandbox around a single gun you have to use to be competitive. I'd agree there, but I'd also say that it makes things kind of interesting because basically you got your primary weapon, that's the one that you use to do the killing, and then the secondary weapon that's in your pocket, that's the toy. And depending on what you have in your back pocket, it changes up the way that you have to engage enemies. And I think that that's really interesting, where with Halo 5, I think it's actually kind of boring because it's just, you don't have that interesting dynamic when everything 
is not balanced around interesting gimmicks. They're all balanced around if they just kill good. So with Halo 5, it's kind of like it doesn't really matter what weapons you combine with different weapons and stuff because everything just kills. You know, it's, it always ends the same way. You know, where, like, the noob combo, it's it's nothing. It's boring in Halo 5, because just everything kills good. You don't need the noob combo. You know, it makes things a little bit less interesting, more muddied, in my opinion, but that's just how I feel. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was a lot of fun. We'll do it tomorrow, and I'll definitely fix my audio for it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was quite a lot of fun. Um, are you annoyed as much as I am about constantly hearing about Google Stadia? Google Stadia, I don't quite know what to feel. I mean, I don't like it. I think that's, like, weird that I can't own my own games. And I think it's even weirder that Google Stadia, Google's letting you buy games. Because it's like, what happens when Google Stadia just shuts down? Like, all that money will be down the drain. I almost prefer it if it was purely renting. Because at least it's like a temporary thing you're, sp you're spending three bucks to play destiny 2 for like two hours as opposed to dropping 60 dollars and then when google servers shut down you don't have destiny 2 anymore um i understand though if google stadia is being aimed at a different demographic not necessarily gamers but like people who think that they might be interested in gaming but they really don't care about like buying a console or a PC or whatever because that's how out of the loop they are. Yeah, I don't I don't think that Google Stadia is being made for us. It's being made for a different audience and I feel like that audience is going to be ripped off by what Google's doing. Google should just go all in. I don't want those permanent purchases because if it was purely streaming, I'd respect it a bit more because, uh, you know, at least you're not buying something that by its very nature, you will in the future no longer have access to when those servers go down. Yeah, I don't like Google Stadia. I think it's I think it's not great. And I think they're also being weird with like pushing uh, first person shooters with it because I think that's like the opposite that you should do. You should go with like third person action games like Assassin's Creed where the input delay won't matter. Uh, but yeah guys I shall see you guys later and this was a lot of fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Let me see if I... Okay. Alright guys. Bye. <laughs>